the next question is mine. It says, why do you think child turning Malik phone off? Motivation. Well, after reading the card, Mike said he was going to have a car service pick Malik at 745. And he was going to have her taken to um, dinner at eight. I kind of wonder why Mike himself didn't say, you know, I'll show up. I'll pick you up at this time. But again, it's like, sir, you didn't even ask me if I wanted to do that. I, I, I could be sick with some type of COVID. Like, you don't know what's going on in my life. He didn't call me to ask. I guess he thought he was having a pretty woman scene. Like, I'm going to whisk her away. And, no. Um, so at this point, they're watching TV. They've eaten again. Um, and they fell asleep. So Chan turned that phone off. I think his motivation for turning the phone off was thinking, you know, at some point, whether it's 7 o'clock, Mike was going to start calling Malia to make sure she was actually going to come. She was actually on her way. And so I feel like he knew it was going to fly off again. Malia was going to be somewhere just like, I just can't believe you, Malia. And he's like, ain't nobody got time for that. So I think he turned the phone off. But when Malia woke up and she's like trying to look at her time on her phone, she's like, why is my phone off? And he's like, I think it might, might have died. I don't know. Oh no, you know what I'm saying? I think that was a motivation to just kind of keep her in a good place. Is it right? No, you shouldn't be bothering people's phones. But I, I feel like that was the motivation. I think the motivation was he gonna f up again tonight. Like, and then my girl was gonna be somewhere sad. She's gonna be upset. Like, if this man doesn't just leave me alone, you know what I mean? Because he might strike me the type of person who has no phone. He won't call from all three or four. You know, different ones. You have to just keep blocking. Them. That's my take. Yeah, um, I actually thought it was pretty sweet of him to turn the phone off. <laughs> I, I was like, ooh, Karina gonna get me, but I'm gonna say it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, he, he really cares about her. And, and like Karina said, she would have been sitting somewhere feeling some type of way. Her whole night would have been ruined, you know, um, because she hasn't grown up here yet, you know? So that's, you know, uh, who has time for that? So annoying. Like, you're, and, and and then it's offensive to Chan. You gonna let this man? You got you got all this good goodness here, and you gonna let another man ruin your night? And I have you seen me, um, <laughs> ma'am? <laughs> you know, so that would have pissed Chan off too. <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> like you just melted. Like <laughs> all this goodness. <laughs> Always worried about some key of a okay. Offended. Mm. Offended. It's hard to be spotting nobody, and you got God standing in your living room, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, yeah, I thought it was a good move um, for Chan to turn the phone off so they could enjoy their evening and Malia could uh, rest peacefully. <laughs> I mean, I You saw how my eye went like what? <laughs> um, I mean, I, I see his motivation; and it was smart on his part. But what if, like, Grandpa or Nana or somebody, you know, got hurt? They was in the hospital, and people have been blowing her phone up for the last few hours because he didn't turn it off. Like, don't bother my phone. <laughs> like, I do understand. Like, he him feeling like he gonna call and mess up her her night, and I'm not gonna have it. But I, th I think at the same time, it's like. That's my queen, and you are really, really way too comfortable. Don't touch my phone. Don't touch it. And not because I have anything to hide, it, but it's just because I'm, I'm like, what if something else happens? And like, at what point do you stop being my daddy? Like, at what point do you stop being God? Like, at what point do you just let me handle me and my emotions? I might be a lot to deal with, but that's that that comes with loving me. You know what I'm saying? To to, to love me or to know me is to love me. And if you don't know me, you won't love me. Hey, too, right? But. Chan is just doing a lot here. Turning people's phones all the way. We ain't gonna be interrupted. He's thinking if he goes back, you know, trying to take her to power down, the door already didn't be a problem. The phone ain't gonna be another problem. So I think that's now, it, it was only a few hours. And Chan has eyes on his family. He got granny being watched, mom and dad being watched. If anything's going on with his newfound family, his boys are gonna call him and be like, um, 
t- turn Malia's phone back on because Granny's in the hospital. So it would have been that simple, girl. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, Malia, you need to call home. Um, something's going on with your grandma. Okay. Uh, how the hell did he know that? God then gave him a message in his spirit. Something's off with Granny. No. Yes, Lord. Speak to your servant. <laughs> done. done, honey. Done. Jen is a, is a wreck. I'm just like, golly. Like, I want to know, was he going through the phone like while she was sleeping? He's like, well, she knocked out. Um, let's see. Who was your last text message? Mm-hmm. He don't need to go to the phone, girl. You know, he already installed that app on there where every text message comes to know. her phone comes to his phone. He gets a, di- a, a direct copy of everything going on. Her Google searches, her FaceTime, he just, he her strikes email. Me type of person. He's all like, I'm very thorough. I want to make sure I ain't slip past these eyes. You know what I'm saying? So... Exactly. He yeah. got his teeth on it. It's really, it's, it's really sweet. It's really invasive, but you know, it's if you got that kind of money, okay. I'm like, I really think sweet. I think it's because it's like okay, Chan is fine, fine, right? But you know, dang little Chan was just like, I'm like you're just doing too much. <laughs> you would, you would, you would be different if Chan didn't look the way he looked if he didn't had that money. If he was mm-hmm. regular, he'd be like, that's a lot. It's a lot. You know, yep it's it's that thin it's that thin line there. <laughs> There's only so much you can do. It really is a thing. about how you look. <laughs> you know, <it's> <laughs> and that goes for men and women too. You know, because I've seen really some men putting up with a lot of junk from some mm-hmm. beautiful women, but mm-hmm. don't let, let 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 a woman they consider ugly doing that same stuff. Oh, you you got to go today. <laughs> Like that ain't it's amazing. From her. Yeah. yeah. Um, but basically you, you hit on something because I have, you know, even with like some of my male ass, they would be like, Oh, okay, yeah, she can get away with that because she's fine. You right. know, it's amazing that when you're attractive as a human being, stuff that other people could not get away with. Okay, she fine, fine, right? You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. So she like to pop off a little bit. Okay, that's a little sexy, you a little spicy. Let it not be your type. That is not I mean, that is pure filth and ugliness. You know what I'm saying? So yes, when you are an attractive person, people make allowances for you to do certain things. Um and yeah, men will tell you certain you know say, she was doing this, but I just let her, you know, she's she she, she fine though. Women do it too. Why why are we making allowances for, for for attractiveness? Jesus, God, it's like a flaw or something. And, and you know what's so rude, like when people uh, like they'll, they'll let you cut in line because they think you're pretty. I never accept a cut in line if somebody thinks I'm attractive. Like you can tell, but I'm just like all these women. You got grandma back here. You could have let grandma cut in line so she wouldn't have to stand here. <laughs> but you think I'm pretty? I feel like the whole cut in line. There are times when people are like, oh, go in front of me. I'm like, are you sure? And I'm like, hey. and it's just like. You feel somebody's eyes are glued to your booty, you know, and it's like, right. you know, exactly. you know, like that's why I wanted me in front of you. <laughs> I have people follow me around the store when they just pretending to put stuff in there. And I'm just like, I I mean, it's, it's like literally, I don't even go to the store. Like I used to go to the store a lot. I used to leave the house. I don't even leave the house. People are so outrageous. I have caught people in the store filming my booty, like just walking around behind me. I'm like, security, somebody, like, um, can I get some help? Like, I don't know if I'm in danger. Yes. It's really, it's really, really odd. Yeah. And you, know, I, you a whole celebrity out there. They ain't seen anything that beautiful. Please, I, you, you know what? Because you're my best friend, you would say something like that and I'm totally accepting it. So thank you very kindly. But I don't know what that's about. It's really scary to have people follow you around yeah. with cameras. All right. <clears throat> Our next question says, so Chan's men did see Chris by the river and lost him in a chase. I'm not comfortable with them using Malia as bait to get Chris. This could be dangerous. 
Do you think there's another way to catch him? No. Uh, I, yes, of course, there's other ways to catch him, of course. But, you know, for the sake of the story, this is the absolute only way. <laughs> so, um, but, yeah, I I thought they were really terrible at their job by losing um, Chris on a bike. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll, <laughs> we'll go with that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited to see how that's going to play out. Um, and what did it say? Um, do you think there's another way to catch him? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to be dangerous per se. I mean, T Chan has his best folks on the job, you know, so, and Chan's more dangerous than Chris could ever be. Chris is psychotic dangerous. Chan is a little bit more um, <clears throat> organized danger you know, organized crime. Mm -hmm. So organized you know. I love that. Organized <laughs> love that. It's, it's just it's the same poison with different tax bracket, you know, so he's a little bit more classy with his danger. Yeah. And we love it. So yeah. <laughs> we like it as jam. <laughs> Toxic, I know. Um do I feel like there's another way? Um no, I don't, because at this point we found found out a few chapters back that Chris is not even using his real name. He's using he has multiple aliases. Um, so how else can you catch a predator other than to use prey? You just have to. So um I don't think it'll be a situation where Chan will tell Malia show up at the dock at eleven thirty, you know, wear something skimpy standing there, you know, like, and then you know, Chris comes up with like a knife or something. I love my colored pins. Like I have so Very many colored pins. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm done with this running. I'm done chasing you, girl. You know, put a little Jerome on it from uh, Martin. You know what I'm saying? And like with these scissors and whatnot, I let her know you coming or these clothes is getting cut. That hell is getting cut. Like Alicia said, she's still making payments, baby. Like, we don't have time for that. That's wild. Be cutting on people's hair. Huh? Oh, the inner gangster coming. No, you can't do that. So, um, is there another way? I don't feel like there's another way. I feel like the only way to catch him is to use what we know he's going to go after. And that is Malia. He's, he wants Malia. Um, for what? I mean, like, come on. Like, let's be honest. We got people out here wanting stuff that they can't afford. I mean, he, at this point, he's on a bike. Do you even own a car? You were a barista. Oh, man, nobody's trying to put nobody down. I'm just asking a question. How's he going to get that Malia on the bike? <laughs> you know, she's seeing you. You're on foot. Like, are you taking the max train? Oh, uh, like, what are you doing? You take the bike. I'll run next to you. He's going to knock her out, throw her over his shoulder. Girl, could you imagine? got a whole body on the back. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's normal. Folks. Could you imagine seeing that down the street? <laughs> Call Popo and find out like, what's happening here because this ain't right. Something's wrong. Um, I, I just feel like Chris is absolutely delusional to think that he could ever uh, have Malia. You know, he, he'd he be the type of person. He would make her life a living hell. Even if Malia was like, he's really nice and he's super consistent. Um, he likes to buy me like little things, you know, he gets to handle, you know, customers coming into the store and being friendly to her. Don't you look at her like that. I'm telling you, he'd probably be upset if a dog tried to like want her to, you know, pet it or something. He just doesn't seem there. like, he's not all there. You know what I mean? And I think that anybody who would show Malia any type of affection, he'd have a problem with it. He'd have a problem with her family. He, he doesn't know what he, he's, he's embarking upon, but he gonna get that work, um, by Brother Chan and his crew. So I, and he like he he literally was like listen they gained it on me he ditched that he ran he, he lost him at a creek you know chris reminds me of like like one of those people on those tv shows that we like to watch on like on the history channel and stuff where it's like they're like mountain men and they can like be out in the out in the wilderness and they can survive he strikes me as one of those people who have like extreme wilderness skills like I, I can make a fire out of nothing like don't play with me okay like he out there making jerky out of squirrels like 
I feel like he has skill set that will allow him to do a high, girl turkey out of squirrels. Um, I feel like he has a skill set that would allow him to be outside in really extreme temperatures um, and bad weather just because he's that crazy. And he knows how to like manage rough terrain. So yeah, um, they're going to have to use Malia. They're going to have to use her in some capacity, even if it's just like her day going to the gym or, you know, going to work and knowing if we just watch her, you know, what they call it, if we just sit on it long enough, he'll, he'll come. So. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Uh, I definitely agree. Yeah. Right, the last question is mine. It says, did Chan turn Malia's phone off, send any red flags for anyone? Talk about respect. I felt that. I felt like I get I get why he did it, but at the same time, Chan has done already that it's just like, sir, like at, at what point is enough enough? Like how much violation of this woman's life do you have to do? He seemed obsessed with like, I'm gonna control every aspect of you. And you're not even going to, and you're going to like it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, why are you doing this? Kyrie <laughs> said, what? Um, yeah, him turning the vote off was a bit like invasive um, for me. But everything he's done at this point has been invasive. I guess if we're going to look at things that we're going to rank it in terms of like badness, that would have been like the least of what he has done. You know what I mean? Like, if you're watching the person taking a shower and, and everything else, it's just like, that's pretty invasive. If you're watching people sleep at nighttime, like, you're watching her, watching her bathroom. You're watching everything. Like, she's not alone ever because she's got eagle eyes on her. It's crazy. But yeah. What were your thoughts? Well, I guess you've already shared them, but go ahead and get her with this again, <laughs> funny. Again? Yeah. Um. I... I feel differently. I, I thought it was really sweet. I don't feel like it was disrespectful at all. I think the most, um, I think the worst thing he's done is put that camera in the bathroom. That is just too far. Okay. Like, I don't, I don't mind the cameras everywhere else. I don't mind you keeping track. I mean, like, like I, like I said, like I said on that Facebook post, like he's not stalking her. He's protecting her. You know, he's, without he's her, protecting without her. her permission. Yeah, so you know, I I'm okay with it. It's you gotta put it in the, but you gotta put it in like different context. What if somebody told you like, her husband's getting in the way of our romance? He's gotta go. <laughs> and they like fuck your house. But that's different. Then that would be different, absolutely. But right, that's not Malia's case. And then I mean, let's say. She was married to Mike and Mike was an a-hole and Chan decided that, you know, she wanted, he wanted her, you know, then maybe that would be okay. You know? <laughs> You're not going to stop me from taking your wife. <laughs> Mark, like, if you don't trust me, she bouncing with another guy. And, uh, she was like... <laughs> Yeah, Chan can't do much to be disrespectful, you know. He's Chan. It's okay. Chan has been a past to destroy the world. Like, he really can do no harm in Curie's eyesight. I love it. I love it a lot. Okay. In our, our session. Okay. What'd you say? Your voice went out. Any closing thoughts before we conclude this session? No, I had fun today. That's I had fun as well. well. We miss you, Lily. Um, we miss you. Yeah. I can assume we miss you. All right, folks, and that uh, episode of Rose City, the after show. Enjoy our discussion on episode 36, Why is this a change? Don't forget when we will be diving into episode 37, a gift for Mike. If you haven't already read it, what are you for? The first three episodes are free on Kindle Vella, so there's really reason why you're not checking out this amazing story. We're sure you'll be hooked. We're hooked. 
New episodes are being published a lot. So come check us out. We love hearing from our So please add your thoughts, questions, and theories to the comments or reach out to us on Rose City, the after show on Facebook. All links will be provided in the description. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Bye.